Hey, what's up, guys? It's Isis the Gamer here. In today's video, we're going to be doing a ship tour in Crusader Showroom. Uh, we're currently at Orizon. If you look outside, look how beautiful and bright that is. Um, so the plan is we just go look at some ships that are on sale in Crusader. Look at that view outside. It's kind of beautiful and sunny. And we are hoping to see some beautiful ships today. Uh, let's open the door and let's leave our habitat. And look at that view, boys. Wonderful. Look at that. There's a lot of amazing thing about Crusader. And look at that floating ship. I don't know what that is, to be honest, but it looks amazing. And look at the greenery here. More greenery down there as well. All right. Um, oh, yeah, I remember now. Uh, on this building, there is a rooftop. And let's go see what we can visit on the roof. Hopefully, the elevator won't take that long. Come on, come on. All right. Uh, rooftop. There we go. We're on floor 13 to the roof. Let's go. If I remember correctly, there should be two blossom trees. Look at those trees, guys. Uh, yeah, wonderful. And the floaty thing is going to the abyss right now. I haven't played in Crusader in ages and look at that massive halo. What does it say on it? Um, can't read. Something halo. Wow, space halo, I guess. Uh, all right, let's get out the rooftop because I don't want to die. Uh, my home is set in um, Everest Harbor and it's going to take me at least another five minutes to get back if I die. So let's not die at the moment. And let's head our way to the lobby. And this is the lobby of Green Circle, guys. Look at that. Massive rock there. And we have a lot of restaurants. A lot of nice things to see here. Receptions here. And that poster looks nice as well. Alright, uh, let's make our way to the showroom. Because I don't want to drag this video along. And if you see ahead, there is a space well. And it's shooting out those water droplets. That's very cool. Uh, very good details on that. Uh, there is the hospital in front of us. Uh, right there. And uh, if we look to our left, uh, the Stratus is there. And the uh, Trading Development Center is also there as well. That is pretty awesome. And the uh, showroom is just ahead of us. And if we see to our right, the sh uh, it says the showroom is right in front of us. Um, and look at that. Uh, that is a tram up there. I didn't know that the trams go up there. But uh, let's see if there is a way to go up there. And see where that tram takes us. Because um, usually trams uh, don't go into top of buildings like that. Um, yeah, I haven't played Chris in Horizon in a very long time. The last time I played it was 314 uh, when it first came out. And that was a long, long, long time ago. And uh, look at this spacecraft here. This is the Hercules C2. And I like the trail it has, right? Uh, at night time, uh, it glows uh, blue. And it looks very nice at night time. And uh, another shot of the Hercules C2 there. And here we are, the showroom. And to our left, I see an elevator. Let's see if we can go to the roof. I'm just calling the elevator. Hopefully it's not bugged out. Alright, roof, 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 roof. Oh, no roof. Uh, Crusader showroom. Alright, I guess we have to go to the showroom now. Alright. Whoa. That is the front of the Hercules C2. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, let's see this animation. Let's see if it's any good. I haven't seen this before. Oh damn, that's very nice. It kind of breaks into like a lot of segments just so we can see what kind of layers the uh, Hercules C2 has in the front. That's very nice. And there's some nice inspirational quotes here. Developing excellence, investing in the future, creating technology and building safety. All right, uh, I believe this is the Crusader bar and yeah look at that and that is the hercules c tube guys that is one big ship and with this ship there is three different entrances and to our right there was an ion and to the back there is a ML msr um so with this ship there is a three entrances right uh one's at the front um if i can get this access uh come on open 
All right. It should open the front. Uh, and I hate when it does that thingy where it's prompting me to buy the ship. Uh, and look at that animation, guys. You can drive up some tanks. I think you can drive a ballista in there as well. And the second entrance is the elevator that you call down. And I think this is the safest option uh, when you're going to these mining outposts because uh, pirates cannot uh like cannot send the elevator up if i believe that is correct but yeah so if i step on here it should it should prompt me to go up to the decks uh so top deck lower deck and exit ship and this is the front side and let's go to the back side i believe somebody also called that in uh, because of the persistent universe but yeah so the button is at the uh, at the uh, bottom right and uh, yeah, you have two entrances in this ship, and this is the cargo hold of the C2. Very bright as well, and very nice as well. Uh, I think it could fit in 362 SU or just below or above that, but it's in the 300 region if I remember correctly. And there's an elevator here as well. But for this video, let's go to the original elevator and let's go each floor separately. All right, uh, lower deck. It's a very smooth animation. And this is the lower deck. Uh, so this is the where the front and the back ramp come down. This is where you can drive your tanks, uh, your ground vehicles. And let's go to the top floor. Alright, this is the top floor. Alright, to our right we have recreation. Uh, this is like where you eat your food and stuff like that. So we have some nice bags to the side and then we have a nice shelf. Uh, with nice books there. Uh, to our right there should be a chair. Um, yeah, let's take a seat. So this is where you can watch your videos and stuff whilst you're in the universe. And there's a nice fridge here, uh, a mini bar as well, I believe. Uh, another shelf here with a lot of storage space. And there's a coffee machine, and this should be coming live in the future, where you can make coffee on your ship. Uh, another shelf, and this is like a nice seating plan, kind of in its uh, Crusader kind of style. Uh, many ships don't have this. Um, if you watch my previous video of the Drake uh, Corsair, it has those kind of mess hall kind of style. And it has some buttons here that you can turn your lights on. Uh, let's turn it back on. Uh, and I think the second one is emergency button. I'm not really entirely sure what it does, but it just makes it bright and red. So shows that you're in a kind of emergency state. Uh, and to our right, there should be some component area. And this is the power plant. And there's a nice animation. In the future, you are able to get some trolleys and change uh, change those components separately. Uh, what is this? 05. Doesn't really say what this is. I don't think it's a component as of yet. Um, but there is a uh, nice bright light tube kind of thing. Not entirely sure what it is. Uh, there is a cooler here. Let's open this up. And it's running a thermal core. That's very nice for the ship, but yeah. So a power plant and a cooler opposite it. Alright. Oh, okay. And there's some bright lights here as well. Not entirely sure what it's meant to do or what it is for. But I see those nice cables as well. Uh, another power plant. Oh no, it's a cooler. Okay, let's open this up. And opposite it... It's another box, but there's no button to open anything. I'm guessing it's not meant to be opened. Nah. Uh, here, do we have any more components? Yes, we do, actually. We have a jump drive. Uh, usually, um, Hercules have a jump drive called Karma. As you see, that's the Karma right there. Very bad jump drive. And to our right, we have some more bags. That's very cool. Alright, let's go to the habitation this is where you usually sleep so there's some lockers here for your guns I believe or maybe it's for armor I'm not entirely sure yeah I think these are for your armor and clothing uh, another chair with a monitor a bed and I believe these are bathrooms here 
very comfortable yeah I see that toothpaste to the right as well mirrors don't work unfortunately another chair with a monitor uh, wait hang on there is another bathroom here but uh, I'm not gonna open it because it's pretty same uh, yeah another bed another locker for storage that's very cool and let's leave to the main deck all right so um yeah you got these storage boxes here as well so you can open these up and i believe these are like your personal uh storage here uh has about 3000 seu of cargo pretty good for its size i believe yeah uh there is another one next to it so there's four in total which you can have your own personal storage uh, i can't access that one or that one or that one uh crossing to the other side you can't do that one but you can do the one to the left of this and you can also do this one and yeah pretty much these are both personal storages with the same capacity of 3000 pretty standard for this ship uh yeah let's go to the cockpit area uh, another hall here uh yeah so another component area i believe this would be another component uh, i'm not entirely sure what you would put here uh, and it's the same for the other side I'm guessing these are like life supports. Uh, another one here and another one to the other side as well. Uh, stronghold. I believe this would be a shield generator. A size. Uh, I think it's a size 2 or a size 3. I think it's a size 3 for this ship. Another stronghold as well. So yeah, so it has uh, two shield generators. And here... Oh, okay. So we have some jump pods here, and I think these are the weapon racks, not the other one that we saw earlier. Uh, four on this side, and a four on this side. So yeah, so you can have like multiple guns here, and yeah, so let's open one of these up and let's go inside. Let's see what it feels like to be in an escape pod. So yeah, this would be an escape pod. And here we have the cockpit area. Uh, so another button may, might open up another component. Not entirely sure what this would be. Maybe these are the life supports. Or the battery of the ship. Uh, there is a monitor here. Uh, in M2 you'd be using that as a, a turret. And here's the pilot seat. Let's get on to this one. If it allows me. Alright, there we go. Um, since this is a display ship, um, I don't think I could turn the power on. Uh, because uh, it doesn't let you fly off with this or anything like that. Uh, quantum drive, quantum display and stuff like that. Let's see if we can find a button to close all the ramp doors. I haven't played with a C2 in a long time. Scanning hard. Uh, what does that do? Doesn't do anything. Enable ESP, no, cruise control, coupled mode, no. Okay, nothing here allows me to open or close a door. Maybe here on the top, power on? Okay, so it does turn the power on, but it doesn't turn the weapon off. Alright, nothing on the left side nothing at the back side yeah so this is pretty much the c2 guys and look at the exterior it's a huge ship it's a very good agile i would say agile but it's good for trading and uh using it to for transport yeah so let, we'll move on to the msr next and here we have the msr also known as the mercury star runner it's a basically a data runner plus a medium freight ship uh okay let's look at this sign here so yeah so it's a crusader mercury star runner it's a medium freight uh, if you guys want to pause this you can have a read quickly of it um so the way to enter the ship is at the back right and you just basically call it in uh, via the ramp it's pretty similar to the c2 hercules so as you see here uh you need to press this button i need to make sure i don't uh, press the buy, buy button and here we go the ramp comes down and yeah we can go inside right so this is the entrance let's turn some lights on and yeah oh look there's somebody inside here let's give him a wave 
Hey, mate. Just doing a ship tour of the Mercury Star Runner. Uh, he doesn't look too bothered. Okay, let's turn the light lights on. And yeah, look how bright this is. It's a very good uh, visual. Um, yeah, so if you go down here, it goes into a secret entrance. Uh, usually it was covered up, where it was much harder to open these doors. I think these are just basically placeholders. Uh, so you can press these buttons to open some doors here. Uh, okay, that's not opening for some reason. Uh, not entirely sure. Maybe... Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, these are meant to be for the lights. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. It's not meant to open no doors. It's meant to be for the lights. And yeah, so you can hide your illegal goods here. Uh, some piping system here as well. And to opposite of that is the engineering room. Where you keep your components and everything here. So we have a uh, quantum drive right here. Uh, for sure these are like size 2's. Uh, we got some components here. I'm not entirely sure why I can't close it. But yeah the previous guy probably opened this up. Um, okay nothing else is interactable here. Right. Yeah okay so these boxes here are the coolers. Uh, powers. Uh, and then you have another cooler here. So this is where your engineering teammate will come and fix these parts up. Um, and pretty easy to access. Yeah, so those are. this is the engineering room. Let's go back to the cargo. And... Uh, oh wait, hang on. We need to turn some lights on to see what it looks like down here. Alright, there we go lights are on that looks good and yeah let's take this elevator up and this would take us to the server room and this is where the ship comes uh, into the data runner kind of thing so because there's a lot of servers and stuff like that so if you see uh, there's about three servers here another three servers here and we have a scanning room and yeah Oh, the room is dark. Let's see if we can turn the lights on. Alright. Maybe it's just bugged out. Um, yeah, the lights are on, but uh, for some reason uh, it's bugged out. And here's a C uh, where you can do the support job role of the scanning and stuff. And you can power this on, deploy, uh, retract. I'm not entirely sure if it takes anything in or out of the ship. Yeah, nothing. I don't think it does anything. Alright, let's get out of the chair and let's move on to the next bit of the ship. Alright, um, here we have some turrets. Uh, you got one for turret up and one for turret down. So that's for down and this is for up. So if we take a seat, right, it will go up and then you can start shooting enemies from there. Um, if I'm not mistaken, these are like size 2 turrets. Or maybe even size 3s. Oh wait, hang on. Yep, Panthers. So these are size 3s. So they pack a good punch. Uh, I think there's four of them in total. Unfortunately, since this is a display ship, you can't move the turret around. But look how beautiful the ship looks. It's very unique in its own way. Yeah, let's go down. And let's go to the next step. Uh, oh yeah, the lights. Let's see what the lights look like here. Okay, that's very nice and bright. More servo room, servos there. And uh, next will be the recreation room. Alright, so here we have the recreation room. And basically it's pretty much like a mess hall right here. Um, yeah, so it has a nice couches, has a chess piece in the middle, uh, mi uh, a microwave, some coffee makers. And something about this ship is if you move one piece of um, the chess piece and you can place it onto this little cup holder thing here. Okay, this is not the piece. I think it's the one left to it. It opens up a secret door or a secret hatch uh, where there's like a little tunnel under the ground basically. Yeah, this one works. And yeah, so that opens up that. Uh, we'll visit this uh, at the end. 
uh, when we finish with this ship tour. Uh, so yeah, so there's a bridge here. Oh, wow. Uh, it's kind of bugged out. But yeah, I don't know why it's like that. Let's see if it goes away. Oh, it's still there. Okay, never mind. Let's go to the habitation. Uh, this is like the bedroom. Let's get some lighting going on. It's too dark in here. Yeah, so it's much bigger than the C2's version. So there's like two seats with like uh, monitors here. And there's like three beds in total. And it's like, um, there's a bathroom here as well, I believe. If I can open this up. So it's pretty much similar to the C2 and there should be another one on the other side as well. So it's like two bathrooms so you're not fighting with your teammate who's using the bathroom. Um, yeah, so three bedrooms. Uh, and these are like your for your armor and stuff. Alright, let's go to the cockpit area now. So if you go straight and then you go... Is it left? No, that's back to the servers. I believe it's this way. Yep. Uh, let's turn some lights on. It's too dark here. All right, yep, so if we go down one more door, should be the cockpit. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's so beautiful, this ship, MSR. And there's like four gun racks there as well. Not interested about the gun rack, I'm more interested about the ship here. And look at that animation, the C2, uh, no, sorry, the MSR is one of the most, most beautiful ship I've ever seen. Yeah, and that is the MSO guys from the outside view. And the final ship is the Crusader Ares Starfighter Ion. And as you see, this is a heavy fighter with a size 7 uh, laser cannon. It's very lethal against small, I mean big ships like um, the hammerheads and stuff. And here's something to read about it. Alright, so let's see what interactable uh, the ship has, right? So at the back... Uh, there is a storage space and it has about 1000 SEO cargo uh, you can put your consumables you can't put a missile I tried this already uh, and you could put your power plant or a cooler so these two could fit in comfortably in a ship so you could transport your components uh, back from one station to another station with your ion so it's very good um, I'm just gonna press move all yeah, uh, move all. There you go. Uh, so I don't want anyone taking my components. And just below that is the weapon rack or a weapon locker. So if you just press this button here, you can comfortably fit in two guns, I believe. Uh, you can have a assault rifle and a sniper co configuration. Uh, at the back here, there should be a component or a life support. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but you can press this button here. And that is a component right there. And it has the same thing on the other side as well. Um, yep, there we go. Press that button. Oh, I'm keep pressing the by prompting uh, selection screen. I'm not meant to do that. Let's see. Open. And there we go. The second component comes. Uh, there is more component buttons on the roof. Uh, yeah, something. You just have to jump up on your wing here. Uh, to the right, you should have a cooler here. So you can just open that up and it exposes the cooler. Uh, down here is your life support. You can just open that up. Your life support is right there. Uh, you can open this one. Opens up your uh, quantum drive. So uh, wait, no, that's a shield generator. Sorry. But this is the quantum drive right here. And it has a cross field. A cross field is very good as well. Uh, at the back here should be more stuff okay there's another cooler here so I think there's three coolers in this ship in total because you are shooting a size 7 weapon so I would expect to have a three of those um, yeah so uh, if you go down here there should be another cooler that you can open up so three coolers in total and yeah so this has been the outside view of this ship uh, let's go inside um, so, uh, you call in the ladder, and look at this animation, guys. Isn't that wonderful? The ladder comes down, and it just moves the wing to the side. And you can just comfortably get inside, and you got a nice visual. Um, and you can see the size 7 weapon to the right as well. 
it's pretty it's, it's pretty dark in here but uh, one year once you have the real version it should be very lit up as well uh, you can see all the buttons and the mfds and look outside of the ship it's so amazing look at that size 7 gun that is that will rip that will rip all the ships in this hole with with ease like size 7 that's nothing for the ion and let's let's go out and let's see how much these ships cost so the ships that we haven't seen in the hall is the Inferno. So we've seen the Crusader uh, C2 here. That is a massive ship. And look at the size of that, guys. That is huge. And then we've got the Mercury Star Runner here and the Ion. And here we have the Koisk that will help us buy the ships. So we haven't seen the A2 or the M2 or the Inferno. But pretty much with the rest we've seen. And let's look at the prices. So the Crusader Star Runner, uh, Mercury Star Runner, cost about 4.9 million. That's pretty decent for a data miner plus a medium freight. Then we've got the C2 that is about 4.9 million. And there's a transport courier. So that, that's justifiable price, I would say. Um, the next one is the Starfighter Aerie Starfighter Ion. 2.8 million pretty neat ship it's a combat heavy fighter and we have his brother brother the inferno which is the ballistic variant of the ion it's very limited in ammo but it r rips a lot of ship in half uh, we got the a2 hercules which is a bomber and this cost about 5.5 million so it's a decent price for a transport ship uh, sorry a, a bomber and we got the m2 here which is the transport ship not the a2 sorry so this cost about 5.2 million and yeah those are the ships guys the m2 is my ferry ship because it has that one turret at the back um yeah and those are the ships you can buy at the koisk in the showroom uh, there is one more thing we need to go see which is the um the weapon shop right here and they sell very uh, good uh, decent weapons here so you got these um omni skies then you got the Revenant Gatling, which is very good. And some more weapons here. This, they also sell missiles here as well. Uh, something that you might want to pick up is the Dominator uh, 2, I think it is. And uh, yeah, you can buy all that. So thank you guys for watching the video, guys. Uh, please subscribe and have a nice day. Bye.